In this training module, you're going to learn how to make a train move and then bring it to a stop. For this exercise, you'll be using a British Class 323 electric multiple unit. It's a great train to get started with as the controls are quite straightforward. This module will get you used to the feel of the train and its controls. While many trains have different controls and are operated in different ways, there are basically always three controls that are common and are required to move the train. The reverser chooses the direction you're going to move in. It often has four positions, off, forward, neutral and reverse. The brakes are used to slow or stop the train. There are potentially multiple braking systems you can find in different trains and you can read more about that in other sections of the training center. For now, the class 323 has a very simple braking system. The throttle controls how fast the train accelerates. In this train, the throttle and brakes are controlled by a combined power and brake handle. Moving the handle in one direction will apply power. The middle position is neutral and does nothing and then the other range applies the brakes. You will find in some other trains that the throttle and brakes are on separate handles. Before you go any further, set the headlights for daytime running and ensure the tail lights are off. We want to move the train forwards, so set the reverser to the forwards position. Now pull the combined power and brake handle toward you to release the brakes and apply power. In the bottom right and in the centre of the speedometer gauge you can see a little ball. This is the accelerometer and will move up or down to indicate whether you're speeding up or slowing down. When it comes to stopping trains, the specifics of each train can be quite different. However, the basic process is fundamentally the same. Bring this train to a complete stop by moving the power brake handle into the braking range. The amount of braking you will need to apply also varies depending on whether you're going uphill or downhill and how heavy your train is. Knowing the right amount to apply will come with practice and experience. Stopping a train is one of the biggest challenges of controlling it, particularly stopping it in the right place. That concludes this module. If you wish to replay it, you can come back to it at any time via the training center.
In this training module, you'll be learning basic passenger operations in this Class 323 electric multiple unit. This part of the training center is the Metro Loop. It is used primarily for driver training for passenger trains that are generally shorter or might stop more frequently in normal operating practice. It consists of two platforms. In this module, we'll be doing a complete circuit and practicing stopping at both stations. When you're ready, open the door and climb aboard the train. Take a seat in the driver's position. Always remember to close the driver's door once you get in the cab. To unlock the control desk, insert the master key and activate it. Turn the coach lighting on so that passengers aren't boarding a dark train. To allow passengers to board the train, you will need to open the correct doors. In order to use the buttons in the cab, you must first insert and then turn the door key to the on position. As the platform is on your left, press the open doors left button. The weather has turned quite bad, so you'll need to turn the wipers on. The cab light is currently on. Make sure to turn it off. It's useful to find your way around in the cab, but can make it hard to see out of the window, so you should always turn it off before you start moving. Headlights in the UK are used to allow others to see the train rather than being of great use to the driver seeing out. Set the headlights for daytime running and ensure the tail lights are off. While the passenger doors are open and the loading objective completes, you'll notice the bar in the top left slowly rising. Once it reaches the top, the objective will complete and it will be time to close the doors. Now the passengers have boarded the train, close and lock the doors using the close left doors button. Set the reverser to forward. Apply some power to get moving. You're approaching the next station. Use the power brake handle to apply power so that you come to a gentle stop at the indicated marker on the platform.
That concludes this module. If you wish to replay it, you can come back to it at any time via the training center. <laughs>